one of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. Without question, a man who has exhibited over 25 years of dominance in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Greenwich, Connecticut. Weighing in at 255 pounds. The game, Triple H. He spent his entire career accumulating power. Like a master chess player from DX to Evolution to the Authority. Now behind the scenes in WWE and NXT. Triple H looks at every match as a threat to his power. And that's what keeps his motivation so strong. That's why you don't step to the throne of the King of Kings. The creator of the pedigree, a truly devastating move. of WWE. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Right. Truly one of the greats of the era. Can he formulate the perfect plan against the game? superstars in the history of this business and that's saying something Rollins truly believes there isn't a man alive who can match his greatness well I'm not sure Rollins is wrong about that actually throughout his career he's always been circling the top of the men's division a constant threat to any title or opponent that he sets his sights on well maybe well earned but Seth Rollins is still as cocky as they come and standing across the ring from him is an absolute legend the game the cerebral assassin the king of kings the man who signs our checks Triple H. I know that he already has a game plan, a winning strategy, as it were, coming into this matchup. And I, for one, cannot wait to see it come to fruition. We know that Rollins has slain the King of Kings before and clearly plans to do so again. But what does Rollins need to do to ensure a victory? I'd imagine that Triple H has come prepared. Seth's best bet is to keep his emotions in check. He and Triple H don't like each other. But Triple H has more experience putting feelings aside in matches like this. Rollins still has a ways to go on that front. Veteran instincts from Triple H. Tagged with a punch. Kick to the gut. Right the wrong into a neck breaker. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Seth Rollins was expecting. He thought this match was his. 
He's lining him up. Up high. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, as the cerebral assassin found the perfect opening and struck at just the right moment. Oh, he's escaping danger. Triple H. They have taken each other to the absolute limit, and they're not done yet. You are looking at two men who thrive off the energy of an epic encounter. Two gladiators battling it out for supremacy and pride. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Don't do it! He switches it back around. Look at this strength. Inverted vertical suplex. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Can't quite get him there. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. And now after that, look. 
look at the story painted red on Triple H's face. Oh, what a counter. Oh, oh my goodness, what an impactful STO. What a counter by Rollins. These two training counter. The game with the double underhook. Here we go. Rollins may be laid to rest. Makes the cover. is bringing. And you can see the gears in Triple H. Both arms hooked. Oh! Trademark execution from the game. Tight end. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. The game. The King Slayer's been slain. The game.